Welcome to Basic Instrument Passing. You have before you CST, Extraordinaire, standing at the Mayo Stand, and the Surgeon across from her. Typically, when you are passing instruments from the Mayo, you will have both a Surgeon and an Assistant Surgeon. One will be across from you and one will be standing next to you, either on the right or left side. What you see in front of you is a basic Mayo setup for a basic case. And so now we will begin with basic instrument passing. No. And I am not watching, thank you. And notice how when I grabbed that, I had this kind of tucked away, hidden to keep myself safe and my surgical team safe. If they were to reach back, I want to make sure they're not going to stab themselves. So I'm going to pull it out just like I'm going to hand it to them. The blade, the sharp end is pointed down or facing down. I am leaving enough room for them to grab, but I'm also protecting myself and them from the blade and I place it in the hand like a pencil. I'm taking it like a pencil and that is how it is used. So you have to think about how each instrument is being used. And then so that's the blade. Back. Sometimes they'll hand it back to you like that. I'm gonna put it back where I had it and pick up. See how I grabbed it by the tips, putting it in the hand like a pencil, exactly how they're gonna use it. My hand is not in her way and then I'm up and away. And I can use it, Bobby. Again, passing it like a pencil. You can either pass it from behind like that. That's usually how I place it or if I'm over here, but I'm not holding on to the active electrode. And I'm gonna be pushing the buttons. So when you pass it, it's helpful if you pass where the buttons are on top so that their finger or their thumb can be used to press each button. And hemostat. And when I pass a ringed instrument that is curved, I'm passing it where once they have it in their hand and it goes in the patient, the curve is going to be down. So see how I'm putting it in her palm like that? And it, the curves are now facing down. If she were left-handed, I could pass to her left hand just like that. So see, now that curve is going down in like that. And I would use it with the left hand. Mm -hmm. So and all you would have to do is just a simple flip. If she has her right hand out, then I'm putting it like that. If I see that she wants the hemostat in her left, all I'm doing right here, holding on to the box lock, I'm just flipping it, just like she's gonna use it. I don't have to switch hands to then rotate it. That takes too much time. So I'm going from, oh, nope, she doesn't want it with her right hand, flipping it, left hand. Okay, retractor. And I'm looking at the incision and I see that we're a little bit deeper. If we were superficial, I may pass you know, this Senreg or an Army Navy, which has two different ends, but we're getting a little deeper. So I'm going to pass the more shallow end of the Richardson. So I'm just handing that to them exactly how they're gonna use it. She's just gonna take it just like that. Just like that. Okay, hemo clip. So then I have my hemo clip, it would be loaded. I would have checked for scissoring prior to loading it. That's all you have to do before you load it is just do this right here. Make sure the tips line up and they don't scissor. Then I would load it, it's loaded, and I'm passing it. This one you wanna be a little more delicate because if you slap it into their hand, that clip will fall out and they will not be able to use it. So I'm being a little more delicate, placing it in their hand, getting a second one ready because usually they take two, at least two mm -hmm. at a time. And put no pressure on the instrument. You're only holding the box lock with very little pressure because even the slightest squeeze, the clip will just fall out and then it's empty mm -hmm. and you can't use it. Let's do METs. Okay. And so see how I locate, oops, those are oh. not the mess. <laughs> Sorry, doctor. <laughs> see how I locate it? I use my other hand. So don't just think you can only use one hand, okay? So I have these on a little roll towel and, or a foam one. And so I'm using this hand. I can move those out of the way and I'm reaching straight for the correct instrument this time and I'm passing the scissors with the curve, once it goes into the patient, facing down. Mm -hmm. Again, if she were left-handed or wanted them in the left hand, I just have to flip it just like that. Mm -hmm. Let's do Gelpie. Okay, Gelpie, you have to be very careful passing a Gelpie to your surgeon. You have to be careful for yourself and for them. So there's two different ways you can pass it. Um, I like to pass it like this on top. So when I pass to them, they take it, 
I am up and away. You never pass it and drag down because it will cut you. So I'm passing it and doing it away. Or another way you can pass it is holding it like this like just on the side, on this side where I can get away from it. So I'm passing it to them and I'm just letting go. And I am not watching your hand. So as soon as I feel the instrument in mine, I'm going into the incision. Let's do bad talk. Okay. Peon. And so notice how I didn't have time to put this up. So she was ready for the next one. I just dropped it gave her that that she needed while she's working on that. Now I can put this up where it goes. They don't have time to wait for you to be like, mm, where did I put this last time? While well, they're waiting on that next instrument. So I just set it down. I'll tend to that later, pass the next instrument, and now I can place this while I have a little bit of time. And once you get a little more seasoned, you'll be able to anticipate. So I'll say, oh, on this case, every time after she's done with the peon, she wants a sponge stick. So I'm already gonna have that in my hand. So as soon as they hand that back, I'm going to take with one, pass with the other. And now I can put this up in the bakey. See how I pass that to her left hand? I noticed which hand that she wanted. I just picked it up, held it by the tips, and put it in, in her hand like she's going to use it.